This is a group chat between me, Nick, and Jack Doherty. Jack's texting all these paragraphs saying, take down the video. You guys have all this to say. Nick and I not responding at all. This is all Jack, all Jack. He is straight up lying right here, bro. You know what you're doing, bro. You're not stupid. One of my biggest fears in life since I was a young kid was not failing. It was succeeding in something that doesn't matter. What's up, brothers? Hope everyone is having a blessed day today, a blessed Tuesday, a blessed Tuesday. Hope everyone is having an amazing day for real. And before we get into this video, we just wanna say, hopefully this is the last time we ever talk about Jack, about this whole entire topic. We honestly didn't even wanna make this video, but then me and Nick talked and we realized the impact that this content and Jack is having on society, and also that we can have a positive impact and influence the younger generation in a positive way. We know it's not our normal content, like the crazy, fun, challenges we're always doing, we're always trying to spread positivity, do fun stuff, but we do feel like it is important to talk about this stuff. And if you guys didn't know, we actually dropped a whole entire video talking about and how it's detrimental to the younger generation and the minds of especially the young men in this generation and what it's doing to society as a whole. If you haven't seen that, click right up here. I guess Jack watched the video and he responded to it in a YouTube video. Everyone's tagging us, commenting, saying you guys need to react to this and see what he said about you guys because a lot of people are saying he's just straight up lying. We haven't even seen the video, so this is our live reaction right now as we speak. And there's just two things I wanna address before we play this video, and that is, Number one, for the most part, almost everyone is on our side saying like, yo, you guys are trying to spread positivity and shine a light on what is actually going on. But there are some comments saying, yo, you guys are just jealous of Jack Doherty. And if there's one thing in life that I am not and Nick is not, and I would say for almost anyone in the entire world, say most of the population, it's just not jealous of Jack Doherty, bro. I don't think anyone is jealous of him. He might have the cars, he might have the watches, the clothes, whatever, but at the end of the day, one thing he doesn't have is respect, and respect cannot be bought. It has to be earned through who you are and who you are as a person, bro. And I don't think anyone that looks at Jack and what he does really respects him, besides the fact that he's worked hard and made a lot of money. You can respect that, but like what he's actually pushing out to the kids, I don't think anyone has respect for that. Second off, we haven't even watched this video yet, but if I were to guess, Jack's probably gonna be like, yo, they're so fake, they turned on me, they, they betrayed me, they're, they're just haters, they're jealous, they're so mad. But if you actually watch our video and actually listen to it, we're not even necessarily attacking Jack. We're we're going after what he's pushing and what he's doing because the thing with Jack is he's too smart to know that what he's pushing and what he's doing is not having a detrimental impact on the younger generation and the minds of young men like there's just no way around it anyone who consumes this kind of content or the or anything like that is not benefiting in any type of way like it's just messing your mind up so those are the two things I want to address is first off Buddy, no one's jealous of you, bro. Second off, Buddy probably didn't even watch the video. If you watched the video and he actually listened, he'd be like, man, they're actually making some really good points. So with that being said, we got the video right here. Jack confronts his haters. We're just gonna play it, break it down, and uh, see what Jack has to say. And apparently, this is what all the people DMing and commenting are saying, is that this video is all about us. So we'll see. Because they're fake, and I cut them off months ago, and now they went to try and expose, going the route of expose me because I won't film videos with them. They're just fake. They're desperate for cloud and they're jealous. They all- Boom. Bro, first off the bat, when was the last time that we actually tried to film with Jack and he wasn't down? Every single time we've ever tried to film with him, he's always been down. So I don't know why he said he cut us off. Bro, if anything, we cut him off because we were literally living in a house together and we realized that we wanted to go separate ways. A lot of people are also saying like, why did it take you guys so long to stand on business? Why did it take you three years to make this video? It's because we didn't want to make this video. I've tried to talk to him in person before and you just can't get through to his mind. Once he has his mind set on something, he will justify it in any way possible. I know you guys have talked to someone who is, I mean, let's just be honest. Jack Doherty is an egotistical narcissist and I don't even want to say that out here, but I've tried to talk to him in person and he will literally say whatever he needs to say to convince you of his way. Yeah. And I don't even think he realizes what he's doing, but anyone who's ever interacted with him for an extended period of time would say the same thing. Like even when we would film back in the day, we'd go to Walmart, we'd film like pranks, challenges, whatever it was, he would always kind of act this way, but now it has gotten to such a point where it's literally impacting 
the world. Which is why we made the video so we can shine a light on the situation and shine a light to the youth that are watching these videos and looking up to them for the wrong reasons. This is how I know he's a narcissist is because he's straight up lying right here. He said he cut us off. Buddy, you're the only one that's reaching out to us. We haven't talked in literally months because we don't want to be around this energy. Yeah, we filmed a video like what, a year ago when we like went to his house. But then every time we film with him, we realize every single time like, yo, what are we doing, bro? This is the group chat between me, Nick, and Jack Doherty. Last time we texted in there was May 14th, 2020, brother. No. Yes, May 14th, 2020, this is the group chat. And then all Jack from there. March 14th, right after he posted the video, Jack's texting all these paragraphs saying, take down the video, you guys have all this to say, blah, 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 blah. Nick and I not responding at all. This is all Jack, all Jack. So it's like, bro, if anyone cut anyone off, it was us with you. Because at the end of the day, bro, I'm glad that you made a lot of money, but I want you to be okay as a person, bro. I don't want, I genuinely do, bro. I genuinely do. And also at the end of the day, pretty much everything we said in that full video we made the other week, we've told them in person. It's not like we're just coming out of nowhere. We've pretty much said all of that to them in person, but we finally just made a video about it. They all talked about me for doing as if they haven't spent, as if they haven't tried for over a year to get sending me girls left and right, even trying to get me to get their own girlfriend, of, and then breaking up with your girlfriend because you wouldn't start. You, you got all these, like, I don't get. Yo, this is crazy to me. He is straight up lying right here, bro. Dude, if you guys don't know, we lived in the same house together in LA. And the reason why that everyone left the house is because Jack Doherty started doing content and me and Nick had a talk and we were like, yo, we can't be around this one because we don't support it, we don't believe in it. Two, it's bad for our brand. We don't even wanna be associated with someone that does that. So we ended up moving out of the house, bro. He's literally saying that I tried to get my girlfriend to do Bro, he was begging me, begging me when we were in that house saying, yo, Yo, Ricky, like, your girlfriend would make so much money. She would she would do so good. And I have to say this is alleged so that we don't get sued. But everything we're saying in this video is alleged. Have to say that for legal purposes. But it's true. He literally said, yo, I'll wire you $100,000 right now just so your girlfriend can start. Because he knew that she would do good. Bro, this is crazy, bro. I'm sorry for being like, being like this, but it's insane to me that he can just straight up lie. And I hope that you guys watching can see the truth, bro. This is insane. He's straight up gaslighting. He's the best gaslighter in the world. But he's good. He's good. He's good at what he does, but he's not as good as us, bro, because we always tell the truth. Always stay real. If you stay real, you don't have to get real, brother. You stay fake. That's why you have to keep faking it, brother. All your vids are fake. Let's be real, brother. You're a clown. You're a clown. Jack Doherty, the biggest clown. I don't even want to be saying it like this, but dude, you're a clown, bro. You're a clown. <laughs> Coming at me, frogs saying, Oh, you're showing the kids, blah blah, which is not true. It's the people that buy it are above 18. Uh, kids don't have money to spend on that, shit. and it's not, it's not the people we're targeting either way. But I'm just saying, bro, bro, maybe it's not the people you're targeting, but dude, every time you go out in public, we showed the video in the last video we made, but literally, those are your fans that are coming up to you, and the type of videos that you're making, bro, you know, bro, you're not your age watching those type of videos. That's just you don't watch those type of videos once you get past a certain age. There's nothing wrong with making those type of videos, but then you're throwing in the stuff and you, you know what you're doing, bro. You're not stupid, you know? And sure, the older people are the ones buying it, but bro, you're literally like grooming these kids. You're warming them up. You're warming them up to it, dude. It's definitely desensitizing them. And also, not only the stuff, but the type of live streams you'll do. Now I've seen there's a bunch of young kids literally they look like they're in middle school running around and doing the same kind of train wreck content just harassing people in public to get viewers for kick for twitch for whatever it is and we're just trying to shine a light on this to stop before it goes even farther than it already has gone and jack if you're so comfortable making all these types of videos promoting your then bro there's no reason someone should not be able to stand on the other side whether they're your friends your old friends or not they're just standing on the other side of what they believe in, bro. You're doing the same thing, just on the opposite side. They're all just mad that they failed, so they switched up and started Period. 
but he said they switched up because they failed. One of my biggest fears in life since I was a young kid was not failing, it was succeeding in something that doesn't matter. Say. Dude, everyone's saying people that say exposed. I don't go. There's nothing to expose. Everything I do is already out there. I'm not a bad person. But if I did anything wrong, I would be in trouble. But I'm not because people like to twist, make it seem like what it's not because they just can't believe what I've accomplished and they just want to say everything that's not true to cope with the fact that they're not at where I'm at. So they've all tried, but they can't do it. So now they're mad and go to hating. It's how it always is. No matter what you do in life, people try to do what you do, and if they don't succeed, they they just hate. He keeps reiterating the fact of like, oh, they didn't succeed, they didn't do that. But bro, we never, bro, I would never want to start an agency. Someone could literally say, yo, I'll give you $100 million right now. And I would say no, because there's certain things in life that I would never compromise my morals for. And that's just me, but I'm not even hating. We're not hating on you, brother. You're smart, you're successful, you're this, you're that. But at the end of the day, bro, you're having a net negative impact on society. So you can't hate on me for something you all tried to do and failed. Like, it's the f like it just because you failed doesn't mean, like, what, now it's a bad thing even though you try to do it. It's like you're going to, like, just look over the fact that you tried to do it and it's, like, not a big deal. Sorry. <laughs> no, but facts. Hypocrite. So I'm tired of hypocrites. Everyone that has ever come after me has done everything I've done. And nothing I've done is bad, but they like to twist it seem like it's something that's not. But every... Another just straight up lie. I've never gone up to a little kid that's like six or seven years old and said, don't talk in the mic and uh, I'll buy you whatever you want. And then in the middle of that same video go, um, oh yeah, make sure you check out my right here. The link's right here on this girl's butt right here. Dude, like right next to a, I've never done that. So there's another lie right there. And this video is just straight, straight cat. Someone buy him an IBP merch hat and put it right on his head. That ever comes at me is a hypocrite. That is, like, like what? Like, everything they attack me for, they did the same thing. So, what the f are you talking about? I didn't do nothing wrong. People can hate all they want and believe what they want and make up all the sh they want. None of that is true. And I have what I have because I'm not a piece of sh do everything for people. And I actually care about people and do nothing but nice things for them. But people only let try to let negative things stick out and let all the million good things I do go over their head and just focus on the one bad thing like, just like that's not even bad but just like the blow portion like just like he, he just got caught in saying what he's doing like yes he's done a lot of good stuff he's he's bought all these girls rolexes he's made a lot of money i'm sure he's given back to his parents he's bought stuff for people but they like to focus on the one bad i mean it's not even bad and then he's trying to justify in his mind that it's not bad it's like it's not that bad bro everyone does it but that's how everything goes that's how cigarettes were it's not that bad everyone smokes cigarettes and then everyone gets cancer boom it's like, oh, drugs are not that bad. And then everyone starts like dying because of it. Oh, well, it kind of is. It's like the same thing, but we're just not seeing the effects that has had because it hasn't been out long enough. There's going to be a bunch of messed up people from it, dude. It just hit. It's just, you can see it in his mind. He's trying to rationalize the fact of what he's doing because in his mind, he's like, dang, I'm making millions of dollars. I have to justify it because if I don't, then I can't, I won't be able to like go to sleep at night. So I, he's like trying to convince himself, you can see it. Ungrateful, backstabbing mother that will turn your back on you for that, and like that for clout. Then I'm no That's why I have a small circle and I cut people off. And when you cut people off and they realize they have no access to you, they switch up and go to hating on you and talking shit about you online because that's the only thing they can benefit off that. It's just- <clears throat> Another point right here. He's like, you guys are so clout hungry. All you guys care about is clout, bro. If all we cared about is clout, we would film fake videos. Bro, we could literally film 10 videos in one day, be posting every single day on this channel. The videos would be fake, but we'd be posting every day. Most of y'all probably wouldn't even know, but we, we have integrity and morals and we just don't like to do stuff like that and lie to y'all. If you could literally pay someone to fake your reaction for a prank or you can go somewhere, fake a video, you can crank out so much. That's how they do oh, so much stuff. And we'd probably have way more subscribers. We probably have 
way more money. But at the end of the day, there's certain things that mean more. Like when a kid comes up to you and he's like, yo bro, you changed my life. Or like, yo, I love this video. It was so cool when you did this. And I can look back and be like, oh yeah, me, Nick and DJ Fab actually did that. We actually lived that. And it's a, it's a real memory we have, not a fake make-believe thing that we did to get clout. So if anyone is clout hungry and money hungry, it's you, bro. You find all your value in the things that you have and the amount of subscribers that you're gaining. And I'm, I'm not saying like, do your thing, bro. But I value different things. Like I'm so blessed that we're able to make money and have a lot of people that support us. But something I value just as much, probably more, is being able to go to bed at night and also be proud of the stuff I'm doing. So it's like, I can show our parents our videos and they'll laugh and they'll have a good time. I don't think you can show your parents your OF stuff and they're they're like, yes man, I'm so, I'm so glad bro, yeah. I'm sure they are because they, they get free Rolexes and stuff so they have to justify it in their mind. But at the end of the day bro, if there's someone that values clout and money, it's you. You find all your validation in it, that's why you have to have all this stuff. When you don't find your validation in it, you don't necessarily need all that stuff. Clout chasing name, I'm not saying anyone's name because I don't want them to get the clout that they want. They're all clout chasing, jealous, hypocritical losers. Yeah. I've all of them, but I don't want to even say their name. They're not worth it. Yeah, people don't have to search their name to figure out like, who you're even talking about. I have a million things to say about okay. everything they say about me. Cause it's all say it bro say it I, I i'm i'm you you literally said yo there's nothing to expose about me i leave it all out there there's ex try to expose bro ex like say whatever you want because when you keep it real there's nothing to hide bro you're playing hide and seek with some professional hide and seekers come on buddy what's up brother if you have something to say say it dude and you just don't have anything to say so you have to like be like Oh, I could I'm say. I'm just holding back. I'm holding back. I, I'm doing it for their own good. For their own good. Oh, oh, oh. I'll, I'll say it right now. Say whatever you want to say. Like, screenshot anything, bro. For real. Because there's, not, there's nothing. There's nothing. The truth doesn't have to hide. Twist lies. Bullshit. Nigga, suck this. I'll go. I'll go. Fake people for real. That's pretty much the end of the video. The rest of it is just him whipping around in his Ferrari that he finds all his validation in. Yeah, bro, I mean, what can I say? 95% of this video was straight lies. And if I don't know if Jack's watching, if he is, what's up, brother? And if he's not watching it, which he probably isn't, because if you watch the first video, he would clearly know we're going after and what it's doing to the younger generation, not him. And you, you answer this question for yourself. What do you value in life? What do you find meaningful? What do you want to live for? And there's no right or wrong answer necessarily. There's just what you believe and then maybe what other people believe, but do it for you, man. Ask yourself, why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you buying the things you're buying? Why are you consuming what you're consuming? Just ask yourself why. And at the end of the day, you'll find yourself and you'll go down a path that you want. It doesn't matter. Honestly, there's some things in here that I agree with. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks, for real. But uh, I just want to be a light for the kids that do feel lost and the ones that maybe don't even know how they're being affected. And with that being said, if you do want to support, we have these shirts available right now. Stop buying a portion of the proceeds. Go to support men's mental health. We'll leave the link in the top of the description. Love you guys. See you next Tuesday. Tuesday. We'll actually see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. New video tomorrow.